Hey guys, my name is Sahara and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a quick video of my November, what do we call those? Not recaps, but um, what's that word I'm looking for? It starts with an R. Okay, we're going to talk about the books that I read in November. And despite having the flu, I'm going to say I had a very good reading month. Um, I was down with the flu for like almost a week, which freaking sucked. And um, I still did pretty well. Um, also, I wanted to shoot this video yesterday, but I did not shoot this video yesterday because I came home and took my bra off. And I was not putting that back on. So I was like, today, when you get off work, the first thing you're going to do is press record and get this video out there. Anyway, here's the list of books that I read. Oh, wait, let me see if I can just give you a full view of what was really going on in the month. Oh God, this is kind of heavy. I don't know if this is a good idea. In the month of November. The, this was the attempt and I got a bonus book in there. I'm gonna start with a book that I didn't quite finish, but I'm going to finish it tonight. It is that German book I was telling you guys about, Die Kleine Hexe. I'm not gonna give this a star rating. It's a children's book. I wanna say it's about a third grade re reading level and I relearned a lot of new words. I am on page 93 and there's 127 pages in this book. Um, I don't like to read a lot of German in one sitting because I get a fucking headache and I didn't want a headache. So tonight I'm going to get hit maybe 10 pages. Hopefully I can finish this tomorrow, but that's decline X. Not quite finished, but I'll get there. Um, the other book I didn't quite finish. Oh, and I'm not quite sure how I feel about this book. It's The Once and Future Witches by Alex Harrow. Um, it started off really strong and then it slowed down. I'm having a hard time getting back into it. I'm on page 264 out of 400 and... Uh, oh God, no, 513 pages. I have quite a ways to go with this book. I don't think I'm going to DNF it, but it's definitely not a five-star read for me because I'm sorry. I, I need a book that's going to cap capture my attention for more than two or three chapters at a time and then dies down. So hopefully I'll get this done this month. And my third and final carryover book. Wait a minute. Was that it? Those? No, no, no. Okay. I'm sorry. Would be this one. This is called One Dark Window. I got this from a fairy loot a couple months ago. This is another book. Started off really strong and then kind of lost me. And then I just started picking up other stuff. I'm on page 104. And out of 392 pages, I'm really hoping I could pick this book back up, stick with it, and get through it. Definitely not a five-star read for me, but hopefully I can get back into it and, and start to enjoy it. Because like at the beginning, I really didn't like it. And then at some point in time, it kind of died down. I was expecting, because like the magic system is based on like tarot cards, but as I read it, these aren't tarot cards. So I'm just kind of like... A little confused. It's not quite the tarot card type magic I was looking for. So we'll see. Hopefully I'll get it done. Now back to the books I've actually finished. I am not much of a middle grade reader at all. <laughs> and I want to start picking up more middle grade. And I thought since yesterday, what, yesterday, since last month was spooky month, it would be a good idea to read Hocus Pocus. I've never read this book or saw the movies or anything like that. This was a chunky book. And even though it was middle grade, it took me forever to get through because <sighs> middle grade isn't my genre. <laughs> and I, I say I want at least one middle grade every month, but uh, I don't know. I didn't hate this book. Actually, I want to say... I gave this book four stars, did I? Let's see, where is it? Hocus Pocus, yes, I gave it four stars on Goodreads. 
Um, it was really cute, but I think what got to me is like, this is like two books in one. It's Hocus Pocus and the all new sequel. Hocus Pocus, cute. They got sweet, you know, sweet to the point. But then like the sequel, it was just the little girl doing the same dumb mistakes that her dad made. Just only in year 2000, I think it was like 19, oh shit. It was like the year I graduated. I don't know, late 90s or something. I think that's what that was the setting. It was cute. Will I read it again? Probably not. Um, but I did get four stars. <laughs> now this one, this is my bonus book because this was not on my TBR. And this is called Violet Made of Thorns by Gina Chen. I'm sorry, I got to give this a little love because the sprayed edges are amazing. I loved this book. I want to say I gave it four stars. I can't remember why I didn't give it five stars. Oh gosh, there was something about this book that, that was like, oh, it's not quite a five star read, but I'm definitely going to give it four stars. It was very, very entertaining. I loved the the fairy aspects of it. Um, I love the setting. I mean, this author, she writes very lyrically and visual, like I visualized every, every setting. Now, the one thing that I was not expecting about this book was the spice. There was far more spice than I was expecting. Um, the girl in this book, who's our antagonist? What was her name? Uh, what was her name? Violet. Duh. She's getting busy in this book. And I mean, for this to be YA, I was just like, wow. I think out of every YA book I've ever read, this is by far the spiciest. And I do see why people would compare this to um, The Cruel Prince, because I really did enjoy The Cruel Prince, but this was Cruel Prince, like, remix. It's It's got a little more spice. I loved it. And it lay, it leaves with the, um, a cliffhanger, and I don't know when the sequel is going to come out, but guess what? I'm here for it. I will be continuing on with this series, with this series, with this series. I really, really enjoyed this book. And I think you might too. You might want to check it out. The next book I read was This Woven Kingdom. Sorry, I got to give her a little love too. I got that one from Illumicrate. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This Woven Kingdom. Now, I did not hate this book, but I did not love it either. Let me see. I gave this one three stars. And I want to say the reason I took some points off was our antagonist i'm sorry she was i'm not gonna say weak but it was like she just that damsel in distress kind of thing she had going for herself it's like bitch you are powerful like why aren't you being powerful on these pages that got on my nerves and i thought it was a little bit too long i did like the whole cinderella aspects to it oh yeah and now that i mention it violet made of thorns that also had a Cinderella type mishmash a part of it but I did enjoy the book I did not love it I just feel like our main uh protagonist she was just a little blah I don't think there was a whole lot of depth to her character and she had plenty of opportunities to be the powerful person that she really is and she just never did and that frustrated me I was just kind of like I don't like that. So will I be continuing on with this series? I think I will because if my memory serves me correctly, the last couple pages, I was just like, oh snap. I think I'm going to go ahead and keep moving with it. But my expectations of the next one, no, they're not really that high. And I've got to say, I have read this author's uh, writing in the past and I felt like she could have done better. This was a little bit of a letdown. I did give it three stars. I didn't hate it. I didn't love it. It was okay. And I might go ahead and continue reading, but it definitely won't be a priority. Absolutely not. And then the last book I read was Ordinary Monsters. And this is by uh, J.M. Miro. I've never read this author's writing before. I gave this four stars. And this also is... Um, the first book of a series. I don't know if it's a trilogy or a duology, I'm not sure, but um, I will definitely be continuing on with this book. I'm telling you, this book was all about the vibes. 
Like I, oh my gosh, the vibes are all there. And it didn't even really bother me because like, honestly, I don't like thick ass books. I don't, I find them very intimidating. And because I'm so busy, I don't have time to be reading a, a 650 something page book. I really don't. This is the one fat ass book that I've read that I wasn't like, Jesus, when is this gonna be over? I never felt like that during this book. This was a wonderful ride. If you are into a book that's all about the vibes, but there are a lot of trigger warnings in this book because there were some parts about this book that I was just kind of like, hmm, like, hmm, I'm trying to think. There's one character, what was his name? I can't remember, was it Charlie? Yeah, Charlie Ovid. And uh, he was a monster and he could not be killed. He could heal himself and no matter how bad he was hurt he could always heal himself but he would feel the pain of other people hurting him and um this was set back in the 1800s and there are some scenes in this book where people were really 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 hurting this child and I must say I teared up a couple times I I teared up a couple times so be warned when reading into this book if things like that are difficult for you uh, you might want to tread lightly with this one because there are some scenes in this book that really piss me off to be honest um but yes highly recommend this book i definitely will be continuing on with this series so like i said earlier despite being sick last month i think i had a very good reading month <sighs> And next month, I have a very, very ambitious TBR list. It's so ridiculous. I'll probably shoot that video tomorrow because I just want to go home. I just want to go and lay back down and get ready for bed. <laughs> but the thing is, I got a text this morning, oh God, from my library. And they want their book back. And it's a book that I had on my December TBR that I did not plan to read until like next week or possibly the week after. And this is going to be my second hate read of the year. And actually, I shouldn't call it a hate read, but my expectations for this book are so freaking low because it's gotten such poor reviews. And I just want to see what it's all about. I just really want to see if it deserves all of the hate that it's gotten. Because this particular book, I did see it. I was hoping it would be on Book of the Month. And because I was like, oh, if it's on Book of the Month, I'm going to get this book. Unfortunately, it wasn't. So I don't own this book. Got it from the library. The library wants their damn book back. And it's due on Monday. So today is what, Friday? I'm gonna try to finish Light Lark this weekend. And this is by Alex Astor. I mean, I read the first couple pages and it's not that bad. But this book did get a lot of hate. I wanna see if it deserves all the hate that it got. And um, yeah, we'll see. So this weekend, I have a lot of reading to do because I gotta finish this one. And what am I currently reading now? I'm reading this one and I'm finishing up those two that I just mentioned. So it's just like, shit. And tomorrow I will be, huh, well, tomorrow or within the next couple days, I will be shooting my December TBR list. <sighs> I think I'm gonna meet my book goal for this year. I think I only have seven more books to get done and I know I could power through it. Anyway, how did your book goals go this year? How did your whole reading experience go this year? The books that I mentioned, have you read them? And if you did, what did you think about them? Anyway, if I shut up right now and get back into this book, I might have it done by Monday. Thank you so much for watching. And if you would like, please like and subscribe to my channel and I'll be back. Oh, and I'm going to be back sooner rather than later because I have a fairy loot coming and a Luma crate. They told me my book is going to be late. I know it's going to be in that box too. I'm, it's, I'm looking forward to it. So anyway, I'll be back before you know it. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good day. Bye.